Hey there, thanks for joining for <laughs> another Sunday Studies. Why I said hey there like that at the beginning, I don't know. It's a Friday, I'm at work, and I had a few minutes, so I thought, let's take advantage and use the weekend for what the weekend is supposed to be. So we're going to knock this one out today and get some rest over the weekend. This is Sunday Studies 54. This one is called In Our Growing Up. And it's about just that, growing up. It's a story. It's some thoughts. It's some encouragement. And it's really good. And I hope you enjoy it. Not to sound like self-centered or anything like that, but reading back what I wrote, I was brought to tears. So if nothing else, this one was for me. So I hope you enjoy it as well. This is Sunday Studies 54 in our growing up. And it goes like this. My mom used to drive me to soccer practice when I was a kid, you know, as moms do. I was only four or five years old at that time, but I distinctly remember our drives across town to the sports complex. I can still feel the car bumping over the railroad tracks. I can feel that churning in my stomach as we seemingly went airborne over the hills. But most distinctly, I remember Crayolaville. The final leg of the journey to the soccer fields always included a trip through a neighborhood of houses painted every color of the rainbow. Therefore, Mom deemed it necessary to name the neighborhood Crayolaville. We would name the houses after my favorite TV characters. The purple house was the Barney house. The red house became the Clifford house. As a young kid, Crayolaville was a magic land of the unknown. The houses were castles, The people who lived in them were characters and stories I would create in my head. The neighborhood became a symbol of imagination and beauty in my little brain. I was not yet aware of the harsh realities of life. My glasses were not just rose-colored. They were technicolor. I saw the world as a place where anything was possible, nothing was scary yet, and everybody was a friend who was there to help you on your magical quest through the journey. Crayolaville was obviously not really named Crayolaville. It went by another name which held a different connotation for those who understood it. With each passing year, the magic of Crayolaville began to fade in my own mind. It seemed as mom, it seemed as though mom and I had less conversations about naming the houses. I started noticing the paint peeling off the walls, the stray dogs walking around and blocking the roads, and the trash piling up outside of the houses. The castles were crumbling, the big bad wolves were just mutts, and the hidden treasures within the walls of the Magic Kingdom were being revealed outside their walls. This is the harsh reality of growing up. Your technicolor glasses start to lose saturation, and your imagination gets replaced with things like logic, rationality, and fear. The magic gets lost for the sake of maturity. It's the inevitability of life, that it's not always as magic as we first imagine. However, the harsh realities that we are faced with allow us the opportunity to come to terms with our place in the world. We are not always the main characters of our story, but we all have the opportunity to be the helpers who shine a guiding light to others on their journeys. That is the one truth that does not fade with age. We are all on a journey, and we all need helpers to guide us along the way, regardless of which land we find ourselves in throughout the journey. The harsh realities of life are reminders that we still have work to do, That we have not arrived, but that change is still possible. The world will not be saved by one singular hero who slays the dragon and rescues the princess. It will be us, the collective us, the background characters, who do a little bit of good every day to help make the world a little better of a place. When I got my driver's license, one of the first jobs I ever received was to referee soccer games. I made the same drive that my mom took me on as a kid right through Crayolaville. 
I was perplexed at how differently I viewed the world from my childhood frame of reference. I was no longer the hero, life was no longer a fairy tale, and Crayolaville was simply a neighborhood that needed help. Now that I'm an adult, I'm not sure of which perspective I like better. The one that views the world as perfect and is naive to the harsh realities, or the one that sees through the falsities of perfection and knows that there is work to be done about it. I think both are valid, but neither are the answer. I believe a third perspective is necessary. One that can see Crayolaville from the past child's eyes of wonder and the present state of reality and the future hope that is held within it. This third perspective is difficult to achieve because it means we must be able to see it all and hold it in tandem. Soon enough, our hands get full from holding so much. That's where we need the helpers to come alongside and pick up the pieces for a better future together. May you see all of your Crayola bills in all their past, present, and future states, regardless of the harsh realities they hold. And may you be one who helps others on their journeys by picking up the pieces and doing a little bit of good every single day. In the poem this week, in our growing up, we lose the technicolor and gain perspective. That is Sunday Studies number 54. It's got a lot in there, so just let it ruminate and simmer in your heart and your soul and take it for what it's worth. It meant something to me, so I hope it means something to you. And I hope that you will be a helper, and I hope that you'll help others and that you'll gain perspective as you grow and that we'll look at all of our Crayola Vills and hold them in past, present, and future, which is a lot. So it is what it is, and I hope that you take it for what it's worth. I think that's what I got this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it gave you some studies to fight the scaries. Know that you can always reach out if you need anything, and I'm in your corner. Bye. See you soon.